everyone, my name is Katie and I want to thank you for joining me for this Tinker Tuesday. Today we are going to learn all about telescopes and we are going to learn how to make one of our very own. Let's get started. We use telescopes to see the stars and galaxies of our universe. But telescopes have been around for a long time. Hundreds of years ago, telescopes were mainly used by voyagers to see far away. Then, in 1609, Galileo pointed a telescope at the stars. And ever since, we've been using them to see our universe. But how does a telescope work? Well, a refracting telescope, which is what we're going to make today, uses lenses to gather light, which is what we use to see an image. This allows us to see more light, or more of an image, than we would normally be able to. So the light is gathered and then focused, which allows us to see a clear image that is magnified or made bigger. So basically, light goes into the lens and then it's bent by that lens. All the light comes together at a focus point that is now a lot closer to our eye. So basically, it can take something far away and make it appear close to your eye so you can see it better. The lens size and distance play a big role in how far you can see with a telescope. That's why a lot of telescopes we use to see the stars have really big lenses. Now we are going to learn how to make a telescope of our very own. So now we're going to make our very own telescopes. For this project, you're going to need some scissors, two different sized magnifying glasses, some tape, and a ruler, as well as a cardboard tube. I used the tube inside a gift wrapping paper. You'll want to use two different sized magnifying glasses. One should be a little bit smaller than the other for the best results. You'll also want a book or some sort of printed paper in order to figure out some measurements for our telescope. Now we want to hold our larger magnifying glass a distance away so that the words on your paper appear blurry, like this. Next, you're going to take your smaller magnifying glass and you're going to need to play with the distance so that you can see the words larger and clearer in your other magnifying glass, kind of like this. Once you have that distance, have a friend help you measure the distance between those. And if you don't have a friend to help you out, you can grab a piece of string and use that to figure out the distance between, like this. If you used a string, go ahead and measure out how long the string is so you know the distance you need between your magnifying glasses. Now that you know the distance between your magnifying glasses, we're going to go ahead and mark that on our tube. Now we're going to cut some slots into our cardboard tube. I go in ahead and added some tape so it didn't fall apart and we're not going to cut our slots all the way through. So I only cut mine about halfway through the tube or maybe three-fourths of the way through the tube. And This is where our magnifying glasses are going to sit. Once your slots are all ready we can insert our magnifying glasses. So you're going to want the larger one further away and the smaller one is what we're going to use as our eyepiece that goes close to our face. If you're happy with your slots, then the last thing we need to do is just cut off the extra cardboard. So you're going to want about half of an inch away from your larger magnifying glass and we can just cut the whole thing off. And there we go! Now we insert our magnifying glasses and you can use some tape to secure them if you want, but our telescopes are ready to go, so look through your eyepiece and check it out! Mine worked out really well. I hope you all had a lot of fun making a telescope with me. Be sure to decorate this once you're all done, however you want. And let me know what you find and how well it works. Did you see the moon? Can you see some stars? Let me know. And check out some of our other videos. We have a lot of more fun activities and crafts for you guys to check out. Thanks for joining me.